Hi and welcome to Ejectrix video, a simple guide on how to check your pressure sensor values, how to adjust them should they need adjusting. This model is a KX7, however this is applicable across all the other models in our range. Whilst checking your pressure sensors, it's often good to ensure that the overflow valves don't have any hidden ink lurking inside. The best way to do this is to remove the head cover. Uh, sometimes you can do this without doing this, but we do find it a lot easier. You just have four bolts, typically, on the side of the, each head. You can either take the bolts out completely, or you can simply loosen them off. But once these are out, you can lift the head cover off. As I said, you have to do this on both sides, but this gives you far easier access when you want to get into the machine. With the head cover off, you've got far easier access not only to your pressure switches, but also to the overflow ports. Now you should see on the manifold OF, OF, OF for overflow. These ports are designed that if you do get an ink overflow you can release it more successfully but also when it comes to resetting your pressure valves you have to open these to ensure the valve can be reset correctly to zero. So for this example we'll adjust the white pressure valve or at least check it but initially as said we'll have to open the overflow valve so with the cloth held handy if you untwist the little red cap you should hear pressure valve make some noise so with our overflow valve open you can see on the pressure switch you've got 0 0.4 which means it, when the pressure has been released it hasn't reset to zero therefore it can be corrected your two grey switches press and hold it will flash and go to zero zero or 0 0.1 which is close enough for this scenario we'll then screw our overflow cap back in and we'll see with a little bit of flickering and a little bit of noise it'll correct back to normal to check the pressure value is correct currently we're at 3.9 if you press the blue button once the N1 value should be 0.1 less which is 3.8 so that's correct we'll press the blue button once more the P2 value should be one more which is currently 4 so we'll bring that down 1 by pressing the down arrow on the right to 3.9 and the blue once more check the values are correct. Currently 3.9 is the norm. We'll press the blue button once. Our N1 value should be 0.1 less which is minus 3.8 which is correct. Our P2 value should be 0.1 more which is minus 4.0 which we can see there which is correct. Press the blue button once more. It takes us to 3.9. Should you need to adjust them to get to the point values that you require press the blue button if we want to adjust it down for example we press the down arrow to, and then the blue button to confirm I'm going to go back up to make sure that doesn't change exactly the same with P2 up and down to correct blue button to confirm so that's resetting your pressure values on your pressure sensors it's checking that, there's, that they're set to zero where they need to be set to zero and it shows you how to make adjustments where required should you want to adjust all the pressure sensors or check them all, obviously go through exactly the same procedure one at a time. Far right side is your overflow for your white and the pressure sensor for your white. In the middle we have the pressure sensor for the primers and varnish and the overflow in the middle. Far left we have CMYK and the pressure sensor for CMYK. Once you complete the head cover back on and you should be ready to go but obviously make sure that you purge and clean the heads which we'll show you how to do in another video.